Hi guys, I'm Jacob Serber from the Reflow team. It feels like I was just up here talking about some of the cool things that Reflow can do, but the team has been hard at work and this latest update will help you make even more beautiful responsive designs. If you haven't already, download Reflow from the Creative Cloud and check it out for yourself. Let's take a look at a few of the features in this latest update. Okay, here we've got a relatively simple project with just some text. We've been getting a lot of feedback of some ways that you guys really want to enhance this workflow, so let me show you a couple of new things. For starters, if I select the body by either clicking back here or clicking the body down here in the status bar, under the style panel, I can now set base topography styles. So in this dropdown, we've got a refresh list of default fonts. So if I choose Georgia, you'll see that all of the fonts that are not styled get that default style. As you know, all of the fonts inside of Reflow are M's, and M's is a relative unit. Now, with the base font size, you can actually define what an M is. So here, by default, it is 16 pixels. Now, if I increase this to, say, 18, you can see all of my fonts change size. If I look at each of these text blocks, you can see they are all still 1M, and I can change all of these to increase in size, but my base font size hasn't changed. I can now adjust that base font size as I go between breakpoints so I don't have to change all of the font sizes on each individual text block. Another big request we've had is to support Typekit fonts. So we know Typekit has tons of great fonts and you wanna be able to use them in your web design projects. So now going to the Add Fonts button, the same way you would have added a Edge web font, now we have a custom tab. I've already gone to Typekit and created a kit and got the kit ID, I'm simply gonna paste that here into the custom panel. When I say done, you'll see all the fonts magically changed. This was another small workflow request that we got. When you add either a font or multiple fonts, we choose the first font out of your list and apply those fonts to your selected block. Now, since I was applying these in the default body style, it's gone across the entire project. So if we look at the fonts that I've added, I can now use all of these fonts to design with. I wanna show you one more cool feature, but let's open up another file. So here we have Adventure Co. You can see it's a, a very well-rounded, very graphical rich site. But previously when working with Reflow, it could be very challenging to work with as many graphics. There was no real way to reuse or even figure out what assets are being used or not. So now if you look on the right-hand side, we have a new library icon. And this shows you all of the assets that you've used inside of your project. If you hover over them, we show you things like use count. Uh, you can actually relink the asset if you wanna update it, um, or you can delete it from your project. So now deleting an image from the stage won't actually delete it from your project. It'll still be in your assets panel and you'll need to delete it from the assets panel directly. So let's look at this in action. If I scroll down, let's just find a little open space. I can pop open my assets panel and simply drag out an asset to be used. Now this is actually intended to be a repeated background of a div. So let's delete it from here and draw out a box. If I want an asset to actually appear as a background to a div, the same way I would have gone about this before, I simply open up the panel, I drag it over to the background panel, and it applies it to the background of that div. If I want to add a larger photo, let's see, let's grab our logo. As you can see, I simply drag it out, place it wherever I so choose. Reflow also monitors the assets directory in your project folder. So if you make changes either when Reflow is closed or while it's open, the assets panel will update to see all of the assets that you have in that directory. So that's really just a couple of the features coming in this latest update. For more information, check out our website at html.adobe.com, follow us on Twitter, and make sure to download Reflow from the Creative Cloud. Thanks for watching, talk to you soon.